It's certainly a concerning trend that many people have heard about by now, but are now disappointed to hear happening right in their neighborhood. People here in Dunning and some of the surrounding areas waking up to what they described as the sound of a saw this morning. And for one woman here on West Grace, that was the sound of her catalytic converter being stolen from this Prius right here in just a matter of minutes. I was confused at first. It was very loud, so it woke us up. Surveillance video shared exclusively with ABC 7 shows the swift action of three people driving near Grace and Malvina in a black sedan right around 6 o'clock this morning before stealing the catalytic converter from this Prius. It's one of at least four reported converter thefts from this morning that police say they are now investigating in the area. And I got up and looked right out the window and um, and they were sure enough, they were right in front of my house like you know, sawing my car. In just one to two minutes, they come away with another catalytic converter. And Maria Chacho says she even locked eyes with one of the offenders at this moment in the video before he gets back into the passenger seat. She says her neighbor across the street noticed the offenders first and tried scaring them away. She uh, she pushed the button on her keys to make her car alarm go off and then she called 911 immediately. In each of the incidents, neighbors described the offenders using a similar black sedan while wearing a mask and dark clothing, many of them telling us they're shocked at just how fast it all happens. They really had it down. Like, it was very quick and, and effective. The other incidents were reported near North Moody Street in Norwood Park and West Argyle in Jefferson Park, targeting Hyundais and Priuses. That's where Aaron Hussey realized one of his neighbors had his converter stolen. He lives in the lives in the building, and I mean, my my car is right next to it. So I'm glad it wasn't mine. It's really sad that it's happening, um, that people feel like they need to do that. Chicago police tell us they're still investigating to see if all of these incidents are connected. At this point, no one has been arrested. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.